How are you my friend? In this video, I want to share with you how to process guava and guayabano leaves to make tea. I hope I can help you. But before we continue, be sure to like and share this video to help others. Thank you. Let's start. Processing guava leaves and guayabano soursop leaves together can be done for various purposes, such as making herbal tea or extracts. Here's a simple method to process them. Ingredients and materials. 1. Guava leaves. 2. Guayabano leaves. 3. Water. 4. Pot or kettle. 5. Strainer or sieve. 6. Optional. Sweetener, honey, sugar, etc. Steps. 1. Harvest or obtain fresh guava and guayabano leaves. Make sure they are clean and free from dirt or contaminants. 2. Wash the leaves thoroughly under running water to remove any dust or residues. 3. Roughly chop or crush the leaves to release their natural compounds and flavors. You can use a knife or simply tear them into smaller pieces. 4. In a pot or kettle, bring a suitable amount of water to a boil. The amount of water will depend on how strong you want your tea or extract to be. 5. Once the water is boiling, add the chopped guava and guayabano leaves into the pot. 6. Reduce the heat to a simmer and cover the pot. Allow the leaves to steep in the hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can adjust the steeping time to achieve the desired flavor and strength. 7. After steeping, remove the pot from the heat and let it cool slightly. 8. Use a strainer or sieve to separate the liquid from the leaves. Pour the tea or extract into a clean container, discarding the used leaves. 9. If desired, you can sweeten the tea with honey, sugar, or another sweetener of your choice. 10. Serve the guava and guayabano tea hot or cold, depending on your preference. Remember that guava and guayabano leaves are used for their potential health benefits and pleasant flavors. This herbal tea is known for its antioxidants and potential medicinal properties, but it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before using it regularly for therapeutic purposes. I hope you learned something, and I helped you, through this video. If you like these videos, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, so you can always be updated every time I upload a video. Thank you very much for watching. Until then, I'm Melvin and this is my TV.